Welcome back to my garage. In the previous video, you saw the PIP engine working. At last, we haven't tested the secondary intake yet though. And, uh, and we can't really, because it has to be held under constant load and constant RPM for this fuel injected uh, intake to work. What we can do though, before we have that dyno running and uh, it's a load cell dyno to keep it under constant load. That's to best simulate the conditions it will be under when driving the variator in the bike. Can make an adapter and hook a normal carb up though, just for testing purposes. With the idle screw turned all the way out, so the slide all the way down, I think it will create enough of a restriction so that it will start an idle on the, uh, the primary carb and then we can uh, whack the secondary open just to see how it reacts. For fun, basically. <laughs> okay. Got the carb hooked up to the secondary intake. 
the half ass setup here is because I'm not going to use this tank for the dyno I'm building which is this frame I'm not going to use that uh, water tank I'm not going to use that throttle control I got here either and when the engine is mounted in the cradle which is done there's no way for me to reach the, um, the nut for starting it with the drill the plan is to there will be a pulley of course on the on the other side and the plan is to start it from the from that secondary pulley on that the second pulley on the main main drive primary drive second pulley on the primary drive so that's the plan i can't do that now because i've got no pulley for it so that's why it's just strapped onto or clamped onto this main frame main beam okay let's get it started see if it still runs and then see if we can get it to get that secondary intake to to work a reminder it's not going to be this carb it's going to be either a, an electronically controlled fuel injection system with that valve i showed you and you've seen in earlier videos or a more mechanical approach more of a carb without a slide picture a venturi with several power jets and that's it Another success, I think I need a rebuild kit for the Walbro carb because it's uh, past half throttle, it just cuts out completely. Tried adjusting the needles but uh, it didn't help anything. But uh, by keeping it at half throttle, bringing it up to RPM and then slamming open the, the secondary carb and the secondary intake works. Kinda. Needs tuning and uh, the whole reason behind going with EFI on the secondary intake is this long valveless secondary intake there is no valve in there no reed valve no anything just an open gaping hole into the crankcase the pulsing in that intake will wreak havoc on uh, carb tuning and uh, methanol and nitromethane which the secondary intake will be fed is much more forgiving in that respect as long as you pour in enough uh, on gasoline it's uh, troublesome but it did work with just a carb with some tuning we might see some rpm but um, will probably be difficult with a carb, I think. But hey, we've got the AFI set up, so. 
I also think it will be difficult to get it up to some real RPM without any load on it. Just free revving. It's kind of like it's running away from itself in a way. That's my past experience with these small 50cc engines anyway. Hooray! Let's get some pulleys and belts, get this dyno finished and uh, continue working on it. And the brute force concept. See you next time.